Well, good morning everybody, how y'all doing? Pretty hot here and welcome to the channel. Hey, you might notice behind me, let's take a look here, there are no trucks in the garage. There are no trucks in the garage because we have a new mod. Actually, I have two new mods coming, one for the Tundra, one for the Tacoma. Today, we're gonna unbox the one for the Tundra and I can't wait to get these on. It's gonna make the truck look meaner, more aggressive, I think, anyway. So I'm gonna turn it around, we're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing. Yep, it's gonna be one of those unboxing videos. Um, it's a great big giant box, you guys can see it. It's, uh, it's sitting right here, right there on the table. So I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna open this up, show you guys what's inside. Okay, hopefully I got you guys in a good position to be able to see this. It is rather heavy, definitely a two-hander. Let's go ahead and uh, see. It came open, I must say, so I'm hoping nothing, uh, nothing fell out of it. I don't know, we're gonna see. But, let's go ahead here. I don't know if this is anything. Nope, we have packaging. And, let's see. I think I'm gonna have to do it like this. Maybe. Ah, there we go. Maybe. It doesn't want to come out. Let's turn the box, see if that helps. I don't know. Get it out a little bit. It is in there. Let's turn the box again. I don't know why that helps. Seems to. Get closer. Ah. Packaging and stuff. Almost there. All right. That gets everything out. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything else in the box. Nothing else in here. We're going to save this box because we're going to be doing a little uh, exhaust giveaway here down the road. And I want to make sure that uh, I have something to ship it in. So, let's set this aside. Alright, now, you may be able to tell what this is. I don't know. More packaging. Lots of packaging. We do have uh, some bolts here. Gonna need those. See if we can move this aside. They have it. They have it zip tied together here. So, let me grab a pair of wire cutters. Alright, let's get these things up. Of course, it's going to fall. Alright, let's see. I don't know. We don't need these, do we? Let's get rid of these. You guys can probably tell what this is now, right? Does anybody know what it is now? Certainly you know what it is now. Let's, uh, the hardware. I don't know where. Back there, I guess. This packaging could come in handy for the exhaust giveaway that will be coming. Alright, now. I kind of want to save the plastic again for the next giveaway that's going to be coming. So let's see if we can. Uh, yeah. I mean, we got to get it out one way or another, right? Probably not going to install it with plastic on it. Alright. If you don't know what it is by now, you're probably never going to know. So. What these are, these 
are side steps, predator side steps, you can see here, for the tundra. And they aren't just bolt on, you can see there are four brackets here uh, where it just bolts on to the truck. So it should be pretty simple to do, I think. Um, I do love the looks of these, that's why I stay with Predator. Uh, I do have Predators on the Tacoma, of course. So I thought, you know, they look fantastic on the Tacoma. They should look pretty cool on the Tundra as well. So um, I decided to go ahead and go with these. I think, turn them around and show you here. I think on the ends, we should have enough room um, you know my biggest thing about side steps is being able to hit the step easily when you get in and out of the truck right i mean you want a nice wide step so that you're not trying to pinpoint the step if you will when you get out of the truck so i was looking for something that would give me good foot room you know what i'm saying here i'll give you a visual here's my shoe lots of foot room on there for me now if you're somebody who has you know size 15 foot or something you might have a little bit of a problem but then i don't know why you need a sidestep because you probably could just step right down out of the truck i don't know um, the other thing i like about this is uh is the finish um, you can see it has this nice black finish on it um, it's not really it might be a paint i'm not sure if it is uh, it sure doesn't look that way but it uh, it's really nice uh, the way they finish this and it should go really well on the truck i think so, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to unbox or unpackage, I guess, the other one. Kind of inspect it a little bit, see if there's any damage. Uh, I doubt it. It was packed pretty well, and I don't see any damage on here so far. So, I think we're going to be good. Uh, I got these from Sparks Parts. If you're looking for anything for your Tacoma, check out SparksParts.com. And don't forget to use discount code ROBMOTIVE for 5% off your order. Um, I will throw in... A part number here. Let's go ahead and do that now. It is on the box. Probably won't be able to see it, but I will read it to you nonetheless. Let's see. It is part number. Where is the part number? Looks like 00016 34188. 00016-34188 and this again fits the 2019 Toyota Tundra and the description of it is a 16TU uh, Predator Pro double cab RB running boards I guess they're technically called I, I know I always call them side steps but technically I guess they're really called running boards so anyway i'm gonna go ahead get these uh unbox the rest of the way as i said check them out to see if there's any damage or anything like that and then i'll pull the truck in on the lift over here which is always a tight fit uh for the tundra but it does fit at the moment that may change uh but we're gonna go ahead and get it up there so we can uh go ahead and get these things installed uh, I will do a separate video for that, by the way, because I don't want this video to be, you know, any longer than it has to be. We're already at pushing nine minutes uh, on the unboxing, so the install is probably going to be, I'm guessing, somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes long. Probably closer to 10 if I can get it edited down and don't have any issues. Uh, we do have to take the originals off. The truck's pretty new, so the bolts and everything should come off. And I will mention one suggestion I have. If you're looking to do uh, side steps, running boards, um, I would do them, if you've just bought the truck anyway, and you're doing it yourself pretty quick after you've gotten the truck so that everything is nice and clean and easy to install. I mean, if you're going to do it anyway and you're in a position that you can, why not do them as soon as you get the truck so that uh, you have the easiest install you can have. Uh, if it's a used truck, it might be a little more difficult if you're taking some bolts off. They might be seized a little bit, but I've done it both ways, and honestly, I've never had any big problem getting the bolts off of the existing. So, And that's in a climate where we had snow and rain and all that kind of stuff where it you know, was really rough underneath the truck. So it still wasn't a big deal. But uh, if you can, 
I would do it pretty early if you bought it new. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, stay tuned for the install. That'll be coming up soon. Appreciate you watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day. Bye.